The Samsung Galaxy S5 has a couple of improvements in the camera over the Samsung Galaxy S4 and one of them is the new Face Detect Autofocus module. Um, what that means is that uh, autofocus, tap autofocus, is a lot faster and more accurate. I mean, it doesn't look like much now, but trust me, it does not need to hunt as much as when you're just uh, relying on contrast detect for autofocus. I'm just going to point it, point away from the camera at the moment to get a lock on something else. Bring it back, and it just focuses. I'm going to point it down on the floor, bring it back, and it will focus quite accurately. So as you can see, that is pretty cool, especially you know when you have those cameras where you just hunt and hunt and hunt, and it doesn't lock on properly, so and you'll never get the picture. This will change everything uh, when you want to take a picture. One of the other features of the Samsung Galaxy S5 is this selective focus mode. So it says select an object to be focused that's less than 50 cm away from the device. So I'll select the closest bear brick and I'll take a picture. So the selective focus mode is just like uh, the Nokia Refocus. It's just like uh, Elytro. It, it, it allows you to um, choose what you want in focus. So you can see near focus, click that. It refocuses to far focus or you can do pan focus which is everything in focus. This is not as good as um, some of the other solutions out there because you can't really tap to focus on what you want, but uh, pretty, pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, it's not very elegant. I think it'll be better in the future iterations of this uh, software. Right, so one of the other features of the Samsung Galaxy S5's camera is the new HDR mode. So this HDR mode is a little bit different from anything you are used to seeing, like uh, the iPhone 5S or any other HDR mode you've seen. Uh, instead of taking three pictures and you know combining it, I'll just have to hit this, bam, HDR. It's called the rich, it's in brackets rich tone, so it actually gives a HDR effect already just like that, so it's pretty cool. So that I'll just take two pictures, one of the non hdr and one hdr and you can see them on the screen now. So you can see it is quite a big difference. And also cool is that once you hit this, there you go, you're recording in HDR video.